Yeah, that was that was quite a blizzard. It was February 6, 1978. Long Island hammered by a massive blizzard that dumped more than two feet of snow on the ground, leaving roads in many neighborhoods impassable for days. It was a lot of fun. Matt Balcom was 11 back then, living with his parents and brothers here on Lakewood Avenue in Ronkonkoma, where 26 inches of snow fell. Matt, who was in fifth grade at the time, admits the only reason he remembers a blizzard from more than four decades ago is because his elementary school was shut down for a week right before a week of scheduled vacation. And I remember me and my three brothers, my older brothers and my parents were like, we were saying, I bet we're not going to have school tomorrow, not going to have school. And uh, sure enough, uh, we get the call, like, no school. And so we're like, yes, we decided. And then it just stretched into no school for 10 days straight, which was awesome. This was their Kodak moment. Snow piled so high, they climbed up the mountain and were as tall as the street sign. It's the memory of having two weeks off. Meteorologist Bill Corbell also remembers that blizzard well. It was one of his first radio jobs. That morning, I specifically said, if you could see what I see on the maps, you would not leave home. That turned out to be one of my best forecasts ever. So this is just a typical intense nor'easter that came up the coast, developed rapidly, tapped into cold air and dumped a couple of feet of snow on us. I remember being stuck in New York City and seeing Times Square that night, no cars moving, no taxis, people on skis in Times Square. Now that's an image for the history books. I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.